Welcome back. Let's get you a quick update on what's happening in the world of commodities. Now, Manisha Gupta is joining in. Manisha, what are you looking at today? Sonia, I'm looking at metals as a sector, and I'll start with the gainers here. And uh, within the pack, copper clearly stands tall here. We've seen nearly 2.5% of gains for the week. And the intraday markets, this one also is trading on the weaker side. But on a week-on-week -week basis, copper is the only non-ferrous metal which actually is closing in the positive here. The reasons being that you are looking at China flagging more stimulus measures to push the growth going forward. So the markets are anticipating that some could, something could come in this month itself and for the quarter, and that has been supportive. And then you have wage negotiations, dispute between Panama Panama government and the copper miners, and there are some supply concerns coming in from there. But not just copper, the ferrous metals also are doing quite positive. So 2% up for steel and 1% up for the iron ore prices for this week is how we are trading. But barring this, every other non-ferrous metal and precious metal is headed for a decline in this week. We have seen strong US data come into the markets. So whether it has been about the uh, producer prices, inflation numbers for the month of January, or the weekly jobless claim numbers, all of that do indicate that the hawkish stance the US Fed has been keeping on could just about continue and we could be looking at higher interest rates for the month of March, June and going forward as well. The strength in US dollar and treasury yields is yet another thing that's weighing on in many of these metal prices here. So when you look at on a week on week basis, we have seen declines continuing. You have gold which is trading at a one month lows, silver price is trading at around three month lows there, platinum is trading at three and a half month lows, you have palladium prices trading at three and a half year lows as well. So that's how many of these precious metal prices are doing. The chart should come in on your screen on what we've done on a weekly basis right now. So gold is down 2%, silver 2.5%, platinum 4% down. And within the non-ferrous space, we've seen tin prices decline quite sharply. You have nickel prices, which are down by nearly 9% as well in the previous week itself. Tin is down, zinc, aluminum also down 3% per piece in this week. So yet another week, a third week actually, when we are looking at declines continuing for the metal space. Thanks a lot for that, Manisha. Well, IPCA Labs is down almost 4% right now. If you're wondering why, Ekta is here to give us the fine print.